Hi, so in this video, I'll be showing you how to germinate everlasting daisy. Um, you can use this method on other kinds of seed by Yates or other brand. Um, but if you don't like to waste your money, subscribe and watch my future videos and see what seeds do germinate. Uh, hope you enjoy this one. Hi everyone, so in this video, I'll be showing you how to germinate everlasting daisy. Since most of us can't go outside and go to our favorite garden center to buy our flowers for our garden, I thought I might show you how I grow mine. Not only is it cheap, it's also easy. So here's what we need, paper towel, ziplock, and the seeds you want to grow. I bought mine in an online shop, so it's hassle free and you won't even need to leave the house. So this is an everlasting daisy. It's native to Australia and is drought tolerant. It's grown as an annual. What is an annual you may ask? So annual is a plant that germinate, then they flower, set seed, and die in one year. In the back, we can see the instruction on how to sow the seed. If you can tolerate shade, party shade, full sun, the spacing of the plant when planting it, and the height it can reach. And the most important thing, how many days until it flowers. First step, let's drip some water on the paper towel. Make sure it's not overwatered. If you overwater the paper towel, there is a chance that your seed will not germinate. Look at the side of your paper towel. Make sure a bit of it is still dry to know that it's not overwatered. Now that that's done, let's start. Put it on a flat surface, then pour the seeds. It's up to you how many seeds you like to put in the paper towel. But for me, a bit less is more preferable. So when the seeds grow, its root won't tangle on one another. Space them apart so the root won't tangle. It will make it easier to pull later when we plant it. Now that that's done, Let's put the paper towel inside the Ziploc. You can also reuse old ones. Just make sure to wash it with soap so there won't be any fungal growth when you germinate a new set of seeds. Make sure a bit of air is inside and not completely flat so the seed can grow upwards. Okay, let's put it inside the cabinet for any dark areas where the sun can't reach it. So as you can see, the front area got flattened and you can see the difference between the flat one and the part where it got some air. Now that it germinated, let's go outside and put it on a seedling tray. This one's the one that didn't get flattened. So as you can see, it grew upward. Let's plant it. So let's poke a hole. Gently bury it and make sure not to damage the root. So after some few days, here's the seed we germinated. As you can see, it's more greener. As the seedlings are young, make sure not to put it directly under the sun, as it cannot tolerate the heat yet. It can dry up and die. Put it on a bright area but not directly under the sun. Make sure to water it. Keep it moist but not wet. A few drops of water on each plant every day would do. 